such a joke. It takes me like 10 minutes to, to get a good hello in the start. I'm not kidding. It's... <laughs> so, hello. I'm back. You're back. Hopefully if you're watching, so welcome back and thank you for being back. Today I have another beginner songwriting lesson for all of us non shredders out there who are just dying to write songs and want to express ourselves, but we're not fantastic guitar players yet. All you really need to, to master for this, not master, all you really need to be able to manage somewhat for this one is the beginner of the beginner chord, the power chord. I love power chords. Who doesn't love power chords? I mean, they're easy to play, they sound great with distortion, and if you know just a little bit of theory, you can really turn your power chords into a lot of cool stuff. They offer you a lot of freedom musically. And that's what I'm hoping to show you today. We're gonna keep it simple. Very simple, in fact. I'm gonna make up a simple progression with random power chords and something like this. In and of itself, that's almost already a simple rock or punk song. Now, the rules are as follows. I'll keep the same drum beat, same guitar DI, same bass even, and then just add stuff to it to see what kind of moods we can create from this one guitar take. As simple as it gets. <laughs> Sounds way different, right? All right, let's do something ugly. Something old school metal sounding from the deep forests of here, Scandinavia. Not your cup of tea? I don't blame you. Let's try some piano and some cello instead. Quite different from the one before, wouldn't you say? All right, last one. Something weird. You get the point, they're versatile. Now, if I had changed the drums, the bass, the, some of the rhythms, but kept that same progression, it would have sounded a lot better, obviously, but rules are rules. I tend to compose vertically and quite slowly, so I like to use power chords as my foundation and then add the finesse or the harmonic structure and the melodies on top after the fact instead of within my chords, so to speak. I can't process too much musical information at the same time, so it works really well for me to work this way. But that's just me. <laughs> I have a very limited brain for music, unfortunately, but hopefully you see the power of the power chord and the potential of the power chord. And even as a beginner, beginner guitar player, the, you can really write some cool stuff with just power chords, as long as you, know a little bit of theory and or you play another instrument or you sing you can complete the chords with your voice even kurt cobain style anyway thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one take care bye bye we're gonna keep it simple very very simple in fact i'm gonna make up ah crap <laughs> 